In today's video, we're going to be looking at the capsule collider. And to be honest, once you've taken a look at one of the basic colliders, they're all pretty much the same. But I'm going to go ahead and include the rest in here just for the sake of completion. So I have this mob in my game that's almost capsule shaped. So I'm going to add the collider to him. So we'll go ahead. You can type in capsule collider if you want. You can also come down to physics 2D, go into there and start taking a look for what you need. And here it is right here. Capsule Collider 2D. So I'll just go ahead, we'll click it, and it automatically applies. You might not be able to see it, so I'm going to turn off the sprite. And there's your Capsule Collider. I'll turn the sprite back on. And it actually fits him perfect, except for down here, obviously, because, well, he doesn't have rounded edges. But honestly, if I used a box collider here, it would go up, and then it would include areas that he doesn't exist in. And to be honest, down around his feet where he's walking around, that's perfectly fine. I like the fact that I can use just one collider to fit this whole sprite in. So let's go ahead and look at the properties. So first we have Edit Collider, which works just like the rest. You can go ahead, make them bigger, taller, shorter, skinnier, <laughs> all that fun stuff. We have the ability to add a physics material 2D. So again, we can go ahead and change the friction and the bounciness. We can go ahead to set this to be a trigger. So if we're not looking for collisions, we can go ahead and look for trigger enters, stays, and exits. Use by effector, so we can actually go ahead and use the effectors, the 2D effectors on this. And of course, we can play with the offset, the scale, or sorry, on the Y, and the X. Then of course we have the scale to make it bigger and smaller, taller and fatter. Nothing new there. And I guess from the box clatter, the box clatter is what I would consider the base. From the box clatter, this is the only thing different. And this is how we want the capsule clatter to be. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the sprite render off so we can see it a bit better. So by default, it's set to vertical, so it's going to go this way. We can go ahead and set it horizontal. And it goes the other way. Now it's a circle because we have the size on the X really big. We can go ahead and shrink that down. Oh, sorry, on the Y to make it a capsule on the x-axis. So there we go, nothing all that exciting about it, right? Except for the fact that it's new in Unity 5.5, I believe. Now for all my character controllers, I'm not gonna have to go ahead and use a sphere and a box collider in order to get them to open down slopes properly. I should just be able to get by with a capsule collider. Maybe we'll make that next. We'll start working on 2D character controllers. But anyway, like I said before, I'm going to include all of the colliders just for the sake of completeness. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I can be a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>